Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing my first official mukbang or mukbang, however you say it, I don't know. Oops, I just spilt juice all over my table. I went to Panda Express to get food. Then I stopped at Starbucks too. So every time I go to Panda Express, I always get the same thing. I always get half and half, which is chow mein and rice. And then I get orange chicken and honey walnut shrimp. That's what I always get. But then I ended up getting with it this time just because you gotta go all out for the mukbang. I got, um, whatever this is. Then I went to Starbucks and this is what I've been getting usually. This is the mango dragon fruit refresher. It's so good. It has mango and dragon fruit. Well, no fucking shit. Also, while I'm eating, I'm gonna be just talking about college and how it's been so far. So, everyone has different experiences. This is just all me. First things first, my classes. I have five classes this semester, and it's from Monday to Thursday. So my schedule is like this. Monday and Tuesday I have two classes, and Wednesday and Thursday I have three classes that day. And Monday and Tuesday both start at 11.30. That was tasting. I have English at 11.30 every day. That stays the same. From 11.30 to 12.15. And then after that, my next class is at 2.20. And it flip-flops. So Monday is biology, Tuesday anthropology, Wednesday biology, and Thursday anthropology. So that's my week. But, but then Wednesday and Thursday, I have a class before 11.30. I have a 7.40 a.m. class, which is terrible. I have bio lab, which is just bio, we just do labs in it, I guess, I don't know. And then Thursday, I have an 8 a.m. math class, which is better than 7.40, even though it's just a 20 minute difference, but like, pointless. Everything we do in that class is like on the computer. So I don't even know why we even have to go in there because the teacher is really bad at teaching. And that's the team. And also, if you guys haven't noticed, I did get a new camera, so that's why I look more ugly in my videos. That's why you can see, like, you can see everything. And also, you'll probably notice that I keep looking over here is because that's the screen, and I keep looking at myself because I'm a narcissist. But I'm trying my best to, like, look over here. My other camera was, like, it was above the, the thing. It's probably gonna be noisy out there. I apologize. And out there, sounds like someone's dying. Probably sometime in the video, you'll probably notice that there's gonna be something on my teeth because I always get food stuck in my braces. It's a habit of mine. But I mean, it's a pro and a con as well because then I have a snack for later on in the day when I get hungry. I'm gonna try one of these cream puff thingies. There's like green stuff in there. Kaka. It's all right. So back to my classes. I'm gonna tell you guys my grades right now. So far in college, I'm failing my biology class. I have like a 58 in there. I mean, this is just halfway through the semester, so hopefully I can bring it up. It's like, I have a C in my anthropology class. I have a high B, so I'm just gonna say A, I'm gonna round it up. In my math class, I have 100% in my English class, because apparently I'm good at writing, which is something I, well, I guess I, I already like figured, but like, I don't know. I'm starting to like writing more. I never really liked it as much as before. My bio lab, I also have a C in it. So, that's how my life is going. Also, if you watched my last video, you, you can see 
in the background that those lights, they fell. They did not want to stay up. Everything else is doing fine. It's just those lights. This is my pig. I don't know if you guys noticed it in the last video, but it just keeps me calm. It reminds me to like, stay good. I don't know. He's just cute. It looks like he's floating. I made my bed for you guys. You're welcome. You can probably see that I'm eating weird. I've been, I've been told that I eat like a rabbit. Let me see. Is that like a rabbit? I don't know. I know I eat weird. I walk weird. My friends always tell me I walk like I waddle. So I'm like a penguin, I guess. But it's like, it's how I walk. I know what you guys are thinking. How did I have money to buy all this stuff? When in my last video I was saying that no tango dinero. It's because I've been selling my bodily fluids for money. So I've been going to the, a plasma center with my friend. Um, you can go twice a week, I guess. And donating plasma. So that's why I have this on my arm. There's kind of like a bruise right there. This is my left arm. And I've been always using that to donate because if you guys haven't noticed in my other videos, I have a really long scar on my arm because I broke my arm and I had to get surgery. And there's, and there's a metal plate in here with nine screws in it. So I'm Terminator, was what I'm trying to say. And I had nerve damage and all this stuff, so. I mean, if you guys want to hear more about that, I could do like a story time or something, I guess. <laughs> like, it's a long story. A lot of stuff happened. Um, the woman put the needle on me and she missed my vein. And she kept moving it around, the needle inside me, which I'm all right with because I went to medical school and um, we always drew blood and stuff and I'm like all used, I'm used to it. <laughs> but I can, see that I was a bruise and whenever she got to a certain spot in my arm it felt like really sort like how a bruise feels and it was like terrible then she moved to my other arm and I have not had blood drawn in this arm ever since I, mean, I don't even know if I've ever had it at all but I just always been scared to because of that and because I have nerve damage so I was like it's gonna hurt but I just let her because I know because she found a really good vein right there and I was like okay fine and it kind of hurt but I don't know if it was because I haven't had blood drawn in that this arm or just because of nerve like I can still feel the nerve damage when I touch my arm even though this happened um, last year in June of 2017 but but yeah that save the story for another time moving on so next topic the freshman 15 freshman 20 whatever it is now let's debunk it let's talk about it I don't know what I did that for um, so I am on a 14 meal plan a week at NAU. So that's for every Sunday it renews. So, um, <clears throat> sorry. So I have 14 meals a week, which is a lot for me because I don't eat that much, but I always feel like I have to use it. It's like stressful because I feel like I have to use it so much. I have to use them all up because if not, I'm wasting it, you know? And so that's why I like, I go to Starbucks and use it because they have a transfer for that or other things. Like I'm trying to use up all 14 by the end of the week and sometimes I go home every other weekend usually. And I've been taking the Greyhound, which is another topic I will talk about right now too. So I feel like I force myself to eat and then like the places, there's like not that many healthy places. There's like one salad place there and it's like boring eat salad every day. I mean, I probably can, but, um, but yeah, so I've gained like three pounds so far, I think. And the first time I went to the blood place, like they take your vitals and everything and their scale was wrong, which I figured, but like, um, their scale said I was, 17 pounds lighter than I was. I was like so happy 
I was like, I don't see it though, but like, I guess so. And I was just like walking around telling my mom and everyone like, I lost 17 pounds, get on my level. And I just felt healthy, you know? It's all in your mind. I just felt so healthy. And then I get back home um, on that weekend and I step on the scale and I was like, I gained three pounds. I didn't lose 17 pounds, I gained three pounds. And I was like, to the blood plasma place because like, what the heck? Making me feel so like a skinny legend here, but no. And I'm gonna post. Do you need your music that loud, sir? Do you need it that loud? Because I don't wanna hear it. Yeah. As I was saying earlier, like, I was gonna come back to the Greyhound story. So I've taken the Greyhound every time but once to go back home, right? And every single time, except for once, it was three hours or more late, which is annoying. One time it was like a whole six hours late because the bus broke down, they had to bring another one back up to Flagstaff. So I was like, okay, I guess. I'm just here eating my dinner, talking to a camera, like a normal person. There's like, college has been fun though. Like, yes, it's been stressful sometimes. I never, stress myself out like I can handle stress really well but it's been fun like you just have to learn how to manage your time and balance your social and personal life it's been all good there's like a lot of different things here like I didn't bring a car up here with me to college but I did bring a bike and I used it like the first weeks but I haven't been using it like anymore I just walk everywhere now because everything's not that far, so I don't really think you need... I mean, this is just for any of you. I don't, I don't know where you guys are going to go, for, or even if you are going to go. Um, but I don't think I really need one. And sometimes I even see, like, people riding around... I've seen people riding around on, uni, on a unicycle. Like, I'll put a clip right here if I find one, because I know I recorded it before, but I don't know if I saved it. And there's just random people like that like a lot of people ride their skateboards around too and the other day there was this guy doing these amazing tricks on his skateboard which was just it was just majestic and beautiful but i'll put a clip right here too because i recorded that and i know i have it on x game mode <laughs> what is going on today <laughs> But yeah, like, I don't really know what else to talk about. I talked too much. I barely even ate my food. I didn't even touch it at all. It's literally, like, all still there. So if you want some, I'll mail it to you. It's a giveaway. For a giveaway, I'll mail you my leftover panda. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching if you even got this far. So, today's shout out. It's always so hard picking out a shout out because those are all so good. So I'm just gonna shout everyone out down here because I feel like it. So shout out to Sadie Salcedo. I'm, just, I'm gonna butcher all these names, so sorry in advance. To Lupita Molina. To Ariel Diaz. Angie R. The Loco family and life with the Alexis. So thank you so much for watching and commenting. And if you guys want a shout out on the next video, comment down below. And don't be afraid to comment again if I already gave you a shout out because I'll give you another shout out if it's that good of a comment. All right, bye.